I was not willing to make a second part. I'm uploading the first video, but I forget something. I have I just removed the torque plate, all right? Forget about the torque plate. This is another thing that I have mentioned a million times. You have this pin here and you have also this one, all right? This is to align the timing cover. You see that it's not being compromised. It's nice and clean, fine. Let me put it on. I just want to show you something. That again, I have mentioned this one million times. Timing cover on, fine. What's this? See this difference? This is not only on this block, this is in all of the M57. There is not a single one M57 that I open and I saw the timing cover to come face with the block. Not a single one of them, all right? Here, it's much straighter, much more flush, let us say. There is a difference, but if you see the difference here, all right? The timing cover, it's lower than the deck at this point, here, it's more high. It's not a little bit. Understood? Same thing in all of them. Some of them a little bit more, some of them a little bit less. All right, now, on the slipped blocks, this surface and this surface and the crankshaft down, it's at 90 degrees. It's been machined. The timing cover front to be flush and to be at 90 degrees according to the crankshaft and according to the, the bank one with the bank two. I have shown you that before and I have said that before. Some people that are mentioning also that yeah, this is a 90-90, what about the cranks of it is? It's been squared, okay? Now, if I make it upside down, but by the way, it's in place, all right? It's where it's supposed to be all the time. And you come down here, here usually, down here usually it's flush. Yeah, you see, there is no, it's barely, maybe thousand of millimeter or something. You cannot see, you cannot feel it, you cannot see something. On this one, it's a little bit more. Fine. Once again, I dare you, open any M57. Fine for me the surfaces. Are they flush? Let me know, please. Uh, then, down here, we are not touching it. Even on the, on the sleeved block, here was the oil pan, we're not, I'm not, we're not touching. The only thing what they're doing, the guys, they make sure that it's on 90 degrees, and they make sure also that the cover here, it's been machined flush. Do I have any here? I have the timing cover here. Not this, sorry. Yeah, I have it there. And there. Yeah, just put there. When it comes to time, you can see. Or watch a previous video. It's the same thing. Watch a previous M057 rebuild. You can see what I'm saying, what I'm talking about. Then, by having the timing cover higher than the deck, imagine how much difficult it is if you want to remove the timing cover without removing the oil pan or without removing the cylinder heads. That means you have the both cylinder heads on and the oil pan here attached. You remove the bolts, all right? You remove also the upper bolts. You remove the upper bolts. You remove the lower bolts from there, and then you're trying to take out the, the timing cover. You're going to take it out. With one way or the other, you might manage to take out the timing cover. How are you going to insert it inside without destroying the head gasket? How are you going to pass it inside? Exactly what I said. How are you going to pass it again back in place without destroying the head gasket? You need at least, at least, to open the oil pan to be able to insert it with this way, to don't hurt the head gasket. 
Is it right? No, it's not right. The best is to remove the cylinder heads and to do the job properly. Because if it comes a time, let us say, to fix the timing chain, if it's been stretched, that means you are more than 250,000 kilometers of the new timing chain. And since you are more than 250,000 kilometers, it's a good chance to fresh, to fresh up, let us say, the cylinder heads. Clean the valves, lap the valves from the carbon, put the new valve seals, and then put everybody happy, put it back again, and everybody happy. Uh, by just changing the timing chain, yeah, yeah, I don't even know if you have the chance to change the timing chain. It's, uh, independent to change only the timing chain without changing the guides, you might be able to do it because there are some tools from Mercedes that you are just splitting the chain and you insert inside. I don't know if it's possible with this timing chain, with a specific one. I haven't done this before, and I haven't changed ever the timing chain by changing by opening only the timing cover, ever. So, I don't know to answer. This was one question before, a couple of months back, weeks back, I don't remember when exactly. Yeah. Once again, if it comes the time to change the timing chain that's been stretched that much, clean the valve, change the valve seals, lap the valves, make the job once, close back together. Yeah, that's what I have to say. Or change the engine, or sleep the engine. It depends. You are the owner, you have to balance it. You have to put it down, how much it's gonna cost you, and if it's worth it. Because again, like I said on the previous video, you're gonna change the timing chain, you're gonna spend how much money on this engine, and then you're gonna have one ten of a millimeter run out. Again, it, this engine was not been abused. It was an E63, formatic, all right, 2014, with 280,000 kilometers, without bending any connecting rod, Without turbo upgrade, bone stock completely. It's in excellent condition for the mileage. It's a normal wear, if you are asking me. That's it. Now that's the end. Over and out.